Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Um, this is gonna be a video showcasing the new Dragon Camel. Sorry, just I didn't really have time to play more games. This was my first game of the day or of Dragon Camel, and uh, I just wanted to make a really quick video just to show the camel. This is one of the guns I think it looks best on the good old SWAT. 556. So well, it's one of the best guns I have used it on. I don't, like I said, I haven't used it on very much. And the gameplay you're seeing is obviously a free for all. And it's on that skating map, whatever it's called. Um, I do kind of start. Uh, well, if you go into this tunnel here, you're kind of caught between spawns. You have to just constantly turn around and kill everyone else uh, that's behind you and then in front of you and you get quick scoped in the face aimbot alarm whatever but uh, basically this is the new camo it looks kind of awesome I think that's why I bought it even though I am generally opposed to the whole uh, let me pay uh, the micro chance action thing exactly look at that when you reload it glimmers kind of cool but um, I guess if they bring out something cool like that camel and I and well I should maybe have put the reticle on. Oops, my bad. When I'm using a red outside for once I should maybe put the reticle on. And right here this is what I'm talking about, you just caught in between spawns, you can't get out of this cube. If you do you're just gonna get shot, so I don't know. It's, you can call it camping, I wasn't doing it on purpose, that's actually... It's very effective, the strategy, though it's kind of douchey. And like I said, you can't get out, because as soon as you turn around, someone spawns behind you. Uh, yeah, but the free-for-all spawns in this game are atrocious, you can't. It's horrible, you can just... Yeah, it doesn't really matter what... Uh, what map you use it, what map you're playing on, it sucks on every map. He's, I don't think they really care about free for all players in this game. Oh, and the magazines look really cool too on this, so. Reminds me of Game of Thrones. I want to use more of Game of Thrones. So, I think I'm gonna do that after I am done with this commentary and have started uploading this video. And, yeah. So, I'm generally opposed. Well, actually, I'm. Now that I think about it, <laughs> mid commentary mind change, I'm not opposed to microtransactions because people can buy whatever they want and it's kind of cool that you don't have to buy the whole um, shenanigananery. Kind of, they should do this with Call of Duty every year when they bring out a new map pack that they call a new game. They should let you buy individual maps and guns. So. No, maybe that's not a good idea, but, um, whatever. This gun is still OP and awesome. I should actually uh, make some videos of me using the, the LMGs because they're awesome too. And now I'm back in the tunnel. Tunnel of love and death, apparently. But, yeah. If, you use it, if you're playing Free Fall, the SWAT is an amazing gun. Actually, an amazing gun on team games too. Um, I could just basically make a commentary. Maybe I'll make a commentary later with the other new cam if I feel like it and I feel like buying it. And I don't know. I'm, I haven't decided yet. I think the dragon cam looks way cooler. Wow, super great aim there, catapult. Great aim. You're amazing. Um, if I feel like buying it, I might do so and I. Uh, do another commentary, maybe just live commentary, about what makes a good free-for-all gun, actually, because that is something of many people might want to know this, I don't know, maybe, um, but I, I think I'll make one, I should make one on free-for-all tactics, but I have no tactics, I just kill people, basically. Uh, and I don't, the obvious tactics of spawn killing, that was basically in the tunnel, if you're in the tunnel you keep turning around, it's basically spawn killing, I hate doing that, and I'm sorry. But I hope you like the new camel, laters.